Hello and welcome to Last Stop. Let's play Train Sim World 3. Welcome to the last service of the night. We're currently at Rochester Junction waiting for a late javelin to pass. Okay, have we got to set this up? Master key is already in. Direction switch forward. All the lights and everything, everything seems to be running and set up. Night night running lights are on. Tail lights on auto. I've not driven this for a long time. So uh, this this could be interesting. Is this the javelin up in here? Yep. There it goes. That's what we're waiting for. Right, okay, so this is the last service. All the bells and whistles going off there. This is the last uh, service, class 375, nightly service, and uh, we should get to see some of the night lighting here in Train Sim World 3. So let's see what this looks like. Just famil familiarizing myself with the cab here. I don't know how this is going to go. But uh, this is quite an easy train to drive, I think. Combined power and brake throttle. Very easy. So yeah, this is a let's play um, of the last stop scenario. As soon as that signal changes, that's what we're waiting for. Door release there, just uh, useful for me to know. I'm just trying to figure out where the door <laughs> buttons are when I get into the stations. I can say I've not driven this one for a long time. I'm not an expert on trains. Some of you guys who uh, who watch these videos, reading some of the comments, it just amazes me how you know every single sound of every single loco. Well, I think I represent the people who do not know that information. I don't know what a, what a button sounds like on the 375. I don't know what a horn in real life sounds like. You know, on a SD40 dash dash two. Oh, wheel slip. Bit too aggressive on the throttle, I was. Okay, so I'm just presuming the station is straight ahead of us. Uh, I've got the Alp icons on. We've gone through a yellow light and it appears we are approaching a red signal. If you're new to the game, you can put the help icons on. As you can see in this gameplay here, we have the help icons on in the top right hand corner, which uh, helps you with the signaling and what you're approaching, etc, etc. Oh, I didn't know I got this on the track. I normally remove that. That spoiled my immersion. That great big red. And it's going to go green in a minute. Stop area. Where you're supposed to stop the train. I normally turn that off nowadays. But it appears to have come back on. Never mind. I'll just have to put up with it in this video. The train is very quiet. The train itself just seems very quiet. So we'll stop here. And uh... And the passengers, oh, I'll open the doors. I think I'm just about on time. Let's have a look at the doors outside on the station. Look at the lighting, it looks so much better to me.
smoking is not permitted in any part of this station or on trains. This includes e-cigarettes. Oh, it was nice. Get it was nice. Get the train announcement in there. Wasn't wanted. Not the train announcement. The station announcement. There. It was nice to pick that up. Ah, uh, for you guys, have a, a listen to there. Just in case you've not got the game yet and you're thinking of buying it. Off we go. I suppose the blind's useful if you want to have a kip, have a nice sleep while you're driving your train. I don't know. Other than that, I think they just uh, you just have them blinds in trains, don't you? If the sun's uh, coming through, you put the blind down as you're sitting in your loco in real life. Lighting, lighting looks uh, looks really good. Now, I don't know if it's because I haven't played Train Sim World 2 in a couple of weeks, but uh, yeah, the lighting looks an awful lot better to me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, I've not played Train Sim World 2 for a while, actually. I've been playing the fishing games. I've had a couple of weeks off Train Sim World 2. If you follow the channel, you probably noticed. <laughs> Don't forget to smack the like button, lots of train videos, this is a game I do do let's plays on on a regular basis, I am a official Dovetail Games ambassador as well, uh, not always being an ambassador, um, only this year I became a Dovetail Games ambassador, so uh, I do play this game quite a lot, and they do send me three products to play on the channel. So the game key for this was received free of charge from Dovetail Games. Through the tunnel we go. I have to say, I am really liking Train Sim World 3. I've not played it all, but from what I have played, I am really liking this game. It's really improved. Chatham, we're coming up to Chatham, Chatham Station here. Of course, if you're pre-ordered, you'll already be playing this now. If you haven't pre-ordered, uh, the game will be released on the 6th of September. So you haven't got long to wait. I'm going to have to take this green thing off the track for my next video. Try and remember to take that off. I don't like that. Open the doors. Let's have a look at the station. Oh. Cameras following uh, that uh, passenger on board there. Look at the light. The light on the front of the uh, loco. It looks... It's different, isn't it? It looks so much better, surely. I cannot remember what it looked like on Train Sim World 2, but the lighting seems so much better. Hopefully I'm right here. It looks superb. Gillingham through the tunnel.
I don't think I did much night driving to be honest and trains in world 2 but uh, the lighting in this it just seems it's superb it's a great improvement oh here we go epic very nice Right, we're approaching a red signal. I'm not familiar with this stretch of track, so I'm just being overly cautious here. We're just... We have got a 15 mile an hour speed restriction that we're approaching. And I can just make out a red signal up ahead. I don't want to run this. Else it's game over. I'm going to be late, aren't I? This train's going to be late. Generally my passenger services are late. Very rarely get them on time. Careful of this red light here. Throwing me late, this is. Not going to be on time. Last service of the night is going to be a late one here. Into Gillingham. That's because I'm driving. Oh, there we go, it's just changed. Away we go. Oh, wheel slip. Too aggressive on the throttle. Coming into Gillingham here. Looks amazing on the approach here. It looks really good. Look even better with that help icon off. That's currently on the track. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, it looks nice. Look. As we come in here. And my train's late. I'll blame that red light. Oh, bells and whistles going off. Is this the final stop now? This is unload passengers. front of the train looks really good so a lot of doors is that uh, is that it it's only a short one today only a short one oh no down to the depot or depot right we've got to change the uh please have your tickets available for inspection yes make sure you got your tickets available for inspection look at the front of the train the lighting absolutely superb have a little nosy round look at that light right anyway let's get the route map oh uh, da, 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 da. right we're following the turquoise line which direction right this direction 
So, we've got to set manually. I'm going to do it on the map, obviously. We're not going to walk all the way down this line. We'll do it on the map. Um, just got to make sure we're going in the right direction here. Uh, that one needs changing. Looks okay. This one wants changing. Right, we should be on that turquoise line now. That should be that should be all set and all good to go. So it looks like we've got to um, park the train up for the night in the yard down here. So let's let's go do that. And we got a red light. Can we go through that red light? Can we contact the uh, the signaller? Where's the phone? Denied. Move up to the signal and wait, he says. Okay, we'll do that. We can do that, can't we? Hopefully we haven't got to wait too long here. We won't go home, don't we, after our long shift today on the trains? Oh, there we go. Them uh, two little white lights, I believe, means we can go. I'm not an expert, so I hope I'm right. <laughs> we'll soon find out. So let's park this uh, let's park this train up for the night. Nice little scenario this. I love it how there's different lengths of scenario. So if you haven't got much game time, you can you can jump in the game and you can pick a shorter scenario or a shorter run on the timetable, you know. up here wobbles I think I'll put the emergency brake on right uh, <laughs> how do we get this going broke the train I'll figure it out in a minute don't always blame the train blame the driver there we go it's reset that's that's just looking outside the window and not concentrating on me driving I very often do that when I'm on a new on a new section of track or Trying something out for the first time, I'm sightseeing rather than concentrating on driving the loco. Particularly when I'm making a, uh, when I'm recording for uh, YouTube. So we just got to stop here. If you're a new player to the uh, the Train Sim World series, this Class 375 is a very easy loco to drive. It's got a simple power and brake throttle on it. Lots of scenarios for it and lots of timetable modes for it. So this is where they park all the trains up then.
looks superb. It looks absolutely magnificent. I've even started a brand new profile I have. I, I, I don't mind losing my old profile. You can transfer them over by the way. But I've started a brand new one. Because I just want to drive all the all the trains. Because uh, I believe you will be able to uh, transfer over all your majority of your trains. I think to train some more free. The information is out on the uh, social media sites regarding that. Absolutely superb. Look at this. That's it. Shut down the train, set the DRA. Okay, we've done that. Set the reverse to off. Okay, we've done that. Set the re master, remove the master key. Done that. Leave the train. Right, do we leave all the engine running and the lights on then? Maybe somebody else is going to get in it. The cleaners. The mechanics. I don't know. Okay. We'll just leave it running, do we? With all the other lights on then. Right, okay. We'll just leave that there then. Shut the door. In case it rains. Left the lights on on the front. Didn't say switch the lights off, did it? Right, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Right, that's it.